Hey, right, uh, welcome back. This is uh, Vampire Survivors. Uh, basically doing a fresh save here. I played a bunch of this on mobile, so this is a completely new file. We're gonna just kind of gradually play through all the DLC and see how this goes, but we'll be starting from scratch. This is gonna be a little bit interesting. If you enjoy, I like, comment, subscribe, and we're gonna keep going through this one little bit by bit. Welcome back, everyone. As you see, we are completely from scratch, though, so it might be a little bit rough to start. So, this with bats, or like, first stage with just a uh, generic. See how far we can get. With zero power up, I don't think we're gonna be able to one shot this. We'll see though. Maybe. Just gotta be a little bit patient. Water. Whip has never been a favorite item for me though. I always find it a little bit awkward to get used to the timing. Damn it. So like bit by bit here, like we'll gradually get a little more intense. Like I think as we progress further in the series, what we might do is just like fast forward through the first few minutes of each round, just as usually they're pretty slow paced, let's be real. But as we go on, like the games do get progressively a lot more difficult and as we get more ooh, as we get more items and stuff, like I think this will become a little more interesting to watch. But in the beginning of the series, let's just see how far we can get with the very, very bare minimal characters here. Personally, I always like garlic for the early stages and gradually just play to the random. I like playing the random. Just a bit of variety to it, but also just getting those Joker characters and buying some upgrades. Pretty fun. I'm also really curious like how the desktop version compares to the mobile release. Like I've heard the mobile version is like downgraded for it, so I'm very curious <laughs> to see how this plays in comparison or if there's anything else that's different content-wise. They kind of like avoided the hype around Vampire Survivors when it originally launched and like didn't get the hype. <laughs> Unfortunately. I played the mobile version and was like pretty addicted to this for a little while. It's super fun. Yeah. Good hit. Uh, if we keep any holy waters, actually, we might be okay. One of the bats is about to fuck me up, though. Oh. Come on, water, help me out. I need to get more, more stuff. I forgot how slow this is to start out when you have like no power ups, no weapons unlocked. Oh, no map. Okay. Interesting. Okay, turkey time. Mistakes have been made. Time for that turkey now. Oh god. That was... I got bad. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, we're gonna get killed by the Prime Mantis when that happens. 
we didn't make it that far here. I need another turkey. Oh, we got wraiths already too, alright. Speed is starting to become a bit of a concern for us too. Uh, we can barely outrun anything right now. Um... Single. E okay. I had to go on level two. Okay. Ooh, cross on screen, that's great. I don't want to be too greedy here. I'm just gonna go for it. Ideally, I would have waited that for a larger swarm, but we're pretty weak. I don't want to jinx myself too badly. Okay, that's exactly what we needed. More turkey. Okay, Bibble's pretty good. A little bit of Bibble. A little bit late, unfortunately, but I think we can get this leveled up pretty high. It's one of the better options for us right now. If we get the Bible and Holy Water combo, we'll be a little more set. That was not as bad actually. I feel like on mobile that gets a lot more intense quickly. I feel like we did quite okay there. Already a little more intense. Did that fix me to work? We're just gonna play the old circle game here. We're just gonna slowly circle around, loot as we go. We are so, so slow though. Like, our movement is rough. Please. And I just want to get back out. He's pushing me back down though. Uh, no, 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 we're dead. Hey. I got traps. <laughs> okay. Round one. Not too good. Uh, we got the fire one though. So, got a little bit of money. Let's see what we can upgrade. Mm, very little. Magnet. No. Oh, let's just keep going. Try this one out instead. Not usually a huge fan of this of character either, but let's just try this as a little bonus run. Oops. 
to get the right angles. Cross? Okay. I well, should go for early holy, but cross is decent with this markup. I feel like two, two abilities of path through and hit multiple enemies at once, so this is actually pretty okay for now. It's a little slow. So as we get Swarm, we're gonna get absolutely wrecked here. bit by a little bit here. I do forget how slow this game is starting out. Like, uh, yeah, I'm on mobile I've unlocked quite a bit, so it's pretty different playing the game now versus like the earlier stages and the slow stage. I still remember the factor being pretty tricky, so I'm kind of curious. Like, eh, I should put with Crown probably. Uh, I'm kind of curious like how these stages are going to be replaying them here, especially with like no no build up. I think I think originally it took me to like get garlic and just really really abusing garlic and beat this level originally. But playing that with just like tough controls and stuff is kinda terrible. Um yeah until then we just kinda run from the bath, run in circles, do a little game here. Strangely relaxing game for how stressful it is. Uh, Green Tracer basically the 20 is pretty dang good. You need like Green Tracer 6, then we'll be set. <laughs> Come on, Rune Tracer Cross. I'll take it. Lacross is pretty good. Double cross. Tracer. Nice. So I just feel like leveling up the two items if we can get them like as high as possible. Augmented area is good. Yeah, yeah, I thought it'd be kind of fun to revisit Vampire Survivors like a little while out and uh, just kind of play through the vanilla game, see where we go with it, get to the DLC, and just kind of do like a little progression series here. Like, what I do like about this is like every every run does progress your character and like your stats a little bit. Like, there's always a little bit more you can do. I figured like over bedtime, we'll throw these episodes in there and kind of just play a little bit more of it. Maybe some challenge runs if you guys have anything to suggest to like try out in this game. I'd be kind of curious to see if there's any like, you know, challenge runs or like item specific runs you guys would like to see. Those things are cool. Oh, we gotta give them. Nice. Okay, triple chest. Give me Rune Tracer, Cross, and Water. Yo, okay. Thick. Oh, triple Candelabra. That's nice. Uh, sick. Okay, we're in good shape now. Hmm. Go down. Okay, we got like an actual run going. Flash of the Tracer. It's fine like this early in the game, like getting multiple items isn't always great because our character is pretty weak, so getting anything extra is always like pretty nice. I'm gonna save the fire just for a little bit later. We get a swarm in. Ooh, fire breath and a turkey. 
No, it's chicken, but I think it's called turkey. Come on. Uh, Bible. And still for a moment, let them build up a little more. want like a mob to spawn in before we get the fire. It just feels like a bit of a waste because for how weak we are, like I want a bat mob or something so we can really abuse some XP. Um, I feel like we should be hitting him soon. Green Tracer again. It's starting to get a little hairier so maybe we can go for the fire breath. Being said, we still have a lot of resources on our hands to deal with everything. <laughs> kind of like, we even need it, really. This isn't quite scary enough. I think we need to keep holding. There's another turkey on our side as well. Maybe we'll go get that bird. And it all went to Campbell. Alright, we just gotta get a bit north. There's like stop watch up there so we can pick that up, get a lot of items in, quickly milk some XP. Uh, actually, go armor here. Games. We're gonna get a lot of items here, or a lot of gems. Alright. Say we're actually not in the worst of shape. XP. Read a little bit. I'm really hoping with the Rune Tracer that like every time a swarm of bats comes through it'll be on the rebound and like cut through them, because that's pretty good for XP. If we get a little bit lucky in there, I think.
this. Something. Ooh, okay. Oh. Uh, let's go there. Plus, being upgradable, so let's do that. Oh. Holy shit, we're in bad shape. <laughs> nice. Uh, that was extremely needed. Okay, uh, we're just gonna go for birds. Nice. Okay, crisis averted. These vampire bats are extremely high on uh, damage, though. Like, I think we're in trouble. Okay, so please be something good. E, hey, okay, triple. Oh baby, a triple. Uh, this is good. Nice. Uh, okay, I'll take armor. Armor, water, and... Level 2, and armor level 2 as well. Okay. Good. Let's go. There's always a way. Right, I okay, guess there's no way. Cool down. Got... Uh, shit, skeleton party. Okay. <laughs> this is where it starts getting a little more intense, uh, I guess it's the 10 and 11 minute mark. This is where we start, start being a little more worried about everything. Uh, skeletons are at least weak, we can farm a lot of XP, and if we get any luck here we'll get another tricky. Nope. So what we will do is just wander and try to get some items for each stage. Single, just armor. Oh, it's still good. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the rune tracer just to look for the upgrade. Can't remember what it upgrades into, but it's better than nothing. Percent health, damage, damage, cross. Cool. A lot of good stuff there. That is a crap load of XP. Cool. So we just need to find a little bit of health and we'll actually be chilling for a little bit here. Hey, okay. Excellent. Alright, we're. We're resting a little bit easier now. We're gonna keep looking for any upgrades and health, but for now we're actually doing okay. We're gonna have like a decent damage output finally, and most things are just kind of crumbling through our cross, cross and root tracer. Like we're doing a pretty good damage output. I think it could be better. We just need to find another treasure chest and hopefully one of the upgrades to come through. I can't recall if you need to upgrade anything in the character before you can get any of the weapon upgrades. It's the only thing I can't think of right now. But it should be fine. Come on. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh. Okay. I'm very dead, though. I don't think I'm getting out of this. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, okay. Yeah, we desperately need help. For anything abroad. I really want to get those torches. We're doing good. Uh, okay. I think we'll call it here for today. Uh, yeah, Vampire Spires Part One. Actually, you know what? Let's do the upgrades. Like this will be the this will be the ritual. We got a little bit of power ups. Uh, let's get some items out of this. Armor projectiles are always great. Uh, hmm. I we can't afford either. I think we'll unlock the recovery for health. Station cooldown. And I think we get any of the weapon upgrades. Alright, do that and can we unlock our shoot? Alright. Uh bam, vampire survivors part one. Uh we did okay. Uh, we did a little bit better here. We survived a little bit longer with the rude tracers, but we'll we'll beat up on that. Part two coming up soon. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. And again, if you have any suggestions for challenge runs in this game as we progress a little bit further into this, let me know. I'd be interested to hear what you guys gotta say. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening. Take it easy, guys.